with this in denial of service attack, a malicious attack on a network resource that prevents legitimate users from accessing the resource typically implemented by initiating an overwhelming number of spurious requests for the service, also called DOS attack. The first DDoS attack was 20 years ago, July 22, 1999. On that day, a computer at the University of Minnesota suddenly came under attack from a network of 114 other computers infected with a malicious script called Trin000. A couple of months later, after the first attack, Numerous other websites became victims of such attacks, including Yahoo, Amazon, and CNN. Each was flooded with data packets that prevented it from accepting legitimate traffic. And in each case, the malicious data packets came from a network of infected computers. On March 5, 2018, a US-based wired telecommunication carrier received a massive wave of traffic hitting 1.7 terabytes per second and shattering the previous record by nearly a third. What are common types of denial of service attacks? Application layer attacks. The goal of application layer attacks is to exhaust the resources of the target. The attacks target the layer where web pages are generated on the server and delivered in response to HTTP requests. HTTP fly attack is like pressing refresh in a web browser over and over on many different computers at once. Large number of HTTP requests flood the server, resulting in denial of service. Simpler implementations may access one URL with the same range of attacking IP addresses, referrers, and user agents. Complex versions may use many attacking IP addresses and target random URLs using random referrers and user agents. Protocol attacks. Protocol attacks, also known as a state exhaustion attacks, cause a service disruption by consuming all the available state, table capacity, of web applications, servers, or intermediate resources like firewalls and load balancers. Examples of protocol attacks is seen flat. This attack is analogous to a worker in a supply room receiving requests from the front of the store. The worker receives a request, goes and gets the package, and waits for confirmation before bringing the package out front. The worker then gets many more package requests without confirmation until they can't carry any more packages, becoming overwhelmed, and requests start going unanswered. This attack exploits the TCP handshake by sending a target a large number of TCP initial connection requests with spoofed source IP addresses. The target machine responds to each connection and then waits for the final step in the handshake, which never occurs, exhausting the target's resources in the process. Volumetric attacks this category of attacks attempts to create congestion by consuming all available bandwidth between the target and the internet. Large amounts of data are sent to a target by using a form of amplification or another ways of creating massive traffic such as requests from a botnet. DNS amplification is like if someone were to call a restaurant and say, I will have one of everything, please call me back and tell me my whole order, where the callback phone number they give is the target's number. With very little effort, a long response is generated by making a request to an open DNS server with a spoofed IP address, which is the real IP address of the target. The target IP address then receives a response from a server. The attacker structures a request such that the DNS server responds to the target with a large amount of data. As a result, the target receives an amplification of attacker's initial query. Some of the symptoms of a DOS attack are unusual slow network performance, unavailability of a particular website, inability to access any website, dramatic increase in the number of spam emails received, disconnection of a wireless or wired internet connection, long-term denial of access to the web or any internet service. How can we protect from a denial of service attack? The key concern is mitigating a DDoS attack in differentiating between attack and normal traffic. The difficulty lies in telling apart the real customer and the attack traffic. Black hole routing. One solution available to virtually all network admins is to create a black hole route and tunnel traffic into that route. In its simplest form, malicious network traffic is routed to a null route or black hole and dropped from the network. Rate limiting. Limiting the number of requests a server will accept over a certain time window is also a way to protect from denial of service attacks. While rate limiting is useful in slowing web scrapers from stealing content and for mitigating brute force login attempts, it alone will likely be insufficient to handle a complex DDoS attack effectively. Web Application Firewall 
A web application firewall is a tool that can assist in mitigating a DDoS attack. By putting a web application firewall between the internet and an origin server, the web application firewall may act as a reverse proxy protecting the target server from certain types of malicious traffic. Thank you for your attention.